All right, welcome everyone to Iowa for the 11th race of the season. Um, I am using the same Iowa as yesterday because I couldn't find a better one, so uh, expect this race to be a wreck fest. But you never know, maybe the game will throw us a curveball here. Uh, entering this race, Tope McGee has a four point lead over Dustin Davis, who has won back to back races coming in. So, can he make it three in a row? Uh, he's starting 21st today, so I mean, you never know. But uh, third in points is Eddie Kalegi, 12 back. Then it's Trip McGinnis, 40 back. Big Daddy, 42 back. Ben Dover, 43 back. Rich Flower, 46 back. Joey McGrath, 62 back. Stoked Shark, the pole sitter, 73 back in 9th. Chris Salvick, 81 back in 10th. And then rest of the top 15 is Teddy Salvick, Mitch Visconti, Dolphin Salvick, Ice Phoenix, and Josh Crash with Jaden Scott and Taser Holman right outside of it. So... I wish I could still show you guys some points to make that a lot easier, but, you know, got to deal with it. Um, here's your qualifying results. Play back to Taser Holman and last. Stoke Shark, Dolphin Salvak, front row. Let's get going. Drivers, start your engines! Alright, so, to your car. the cars are going to fire off here. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to expect a wreck fest just based on how yesterday went, but... And our test where you can really surprise us sometimes. Uh, don't look like anybody died before the race. Yes, here's your paint scheme preview. <laughs> All the way back up to the 31. So, uh, 50 laps as you can see. Um, not really sure what to expect here. Um, whatever happens should be fun. This could be a short race because of a ton of cautions like the secondary series race, or these guys could behave themselves better than the uh, secondary series drivers. But as they come off at turn four, Stoke Shark, Dolphin, Salvek lead the field down for 50 laps at Iowa. And we are green at the Iowa Speedway. Stoke Shark to me like it's out to lead, but now they're three wide, and there's some of the wall. And now the 56, trying to get by the 08. So Matt Hussey is going to clear for lead. There's contact and some spins. Uh, there's your last two race winner, Dustin Davis, involved. Chaos spun around. Uh, Matt Matt was spun, same with Big Daddy, but I don't believe they got damage, so they should be just fine. And actually, they might be able to keep their spots, too, as they spun right at the line. It's like, they might not lose too much, see? Matt Matt might have more damage, but even then, it's not that bad. Teddy Salovec has worse damage than both of them, so yeah. They didn't lose too many spots, all things considered. But, uh, yeah, that'll be a trend for today, I would guess. So Matt Hussey is the race leader. Uh, I don't know if anybody will pit yet. So, I mean, if you're involved in that wreck, you're probably gonna pit. Uh oh, what's what's happening here? <laughs> um, jeez. Oh Lord, this is not gonna end well at all. This game is. <laughs> Okay, so the 56 made his way to the front. I don't know what's happening. Ha Did they actually get trapped? No way. All these guys got trapped a lot down, or are they getting it back? No way. That's unfortunate. So 16th on back is trapped a lot down because I. What? I'm so confused. I don't know why they're a lap down, but I'm gonna go with it. So, effectively takes out over half the field from winning this race. That's odd, to say the least. What? Can't change it. Green flag back in the air, Matt Hussey, race leader. 0-8, rookie trip McGinnis. Looking to the inside now. There's a wreck ahead of him. How did that happen? And the leader's taken out. A big wreck up front. 
Oh, the 31 of Stoked Shark is dead. I repeat. What happened? What? Why are those guys so far out of the leaders? Oh my lord, what is this race, dude? What was that? I'm so lost as to why they were even up there. Okay. So the map mat got wrecked or something. But why were they so far out of leaders? This race is so stupid. So he gets turned by the 99. And I watch as the leaders all pile in. There's Matt Hussey. The 08's gonna get by it. Jeez, a ton of cars in the lead lap got wrecked right there. 72, 2, 27, 31. 37, I believe. How is that? Oh, this game is uh, definitely interesting. So the 08 was leading. So I guess the 42 is the leader now because the 08 probably pitted. And these guys are still stuck a lot down, at least. Most of them two down. What is this race, dude? There's Rich Flower pitting. So the 42 of Sped J Boy is the leader. It looks like. And there's only there's only 10 cars in the lead lap. Yeah, I can tell you we're not coming back to this track again, unless there's a better one made. And now Chris Salvek's out with a gearbox issue. So there's nine cars in the lead lap, and we're a fifth of the way done. Oh good lord. Okay, so Sped J Boy. Is in the lead. Next car he has to worry about is Dolphin Salve at number two. There's a lot of damage to that car. Caution's out, because what else is new? Big Daddy looks like this is fun. Yep, Taser Holman and Big Daddy. Oh, no, wait. So Taser Holman puts Matt Tift in the wall, and they both spun from that. That's. <clears throat> oh man, that's interesting. Up oh, and now they're wrecking the caution. Good one, guys. Sped J Boy is to pit. Dolphin Salvec as well. I don't know what Sniper's doing. So, who's gonna be leading? I don't have any clue. Okay, the 10's pitting. 36 is pitting, so Brad Stover is going to be a leader. Right here. Alright, so Brad Stover and. Oh, he's got an issue now. The 04's got an issue. Is it the same chat? 04. 04. I don't even know. I don't know how to read this, honestly. So Brad Stover's got damage or something. He's got an issue. I missed the green door. Only turn one to fun. Trip McGinnis gets the lead. Brad Stover had an issue. So I'm sorry. So now it's Trip McGinnis in the 08 leading this race with PNG of trash in the wall. Brad had sped J Boy up and put them both in the wall. Caution's out, the racing back. Look at this car. This car's in fifth place, by the way. Oh, Sped J Boy is around. Oh. Nobody else hits him. Oh, my lord. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the leader? Okay. Wait, Sniper's got big damage. It looks like it flipped over. Okay, Sniper's got big damage. Let's see what happened. I know Sped J Boy wrecked, but it doesn't look like he has much damage. Yep, he, uh, he, I'd say he flipped. Oh, Lord. So, he gets stuck on Checkered Book, and then he, wow. Teddy Salvik wrecking up ahead of him. He just rode the wall. And then it flipped. Look at, oh, Chaos hits him, then Matt Tiff comes in. Wow. Sniper with a bad wreck. I don't think anybody else hit him.
But then, Sped J Boy, right here. Let's see this. So he crowded PNG a trash up like he did on the last set of corners. Didn't end too well for the floor, too. But he's still in eighth place because there's only eight cars in the lead lap. So. Yeah, if you finish lead lap, you're gonna get a top 10 today. So there's the 70, the 2 in the pit, and every other lead lap car as well. So. I guess all lead lap cars are pitting? Yeah, there's a 42. Yeah, so we'll just have to see who ends up being the leader. Oh. Alright, so. Who is leading? Oh, wait. The 08's leading in the middle of the pack. This is bound to be bad. Alright, well we... These guys finally might have a shot to get back on the lead lap, some of them. If they can hold off the leader. Which... They'll probably only have a lap or two to caution, so we'll see. Green flag back in here. Trip McGinnis, the leader. He's right in the bad spot, too. And never mind. Caution. What is this? How does this happen? Dude. Oh, there's your points leader, Tilt McGee, is wrecked. What in the world? What? You go back green, and teammates wreck each other, and a Nick Ocean comes in, flips the 82, then the 24 hits him again, or hits her again. Uh, my bad. And oh my lord, wow. Jennifer Holman just died, so. Wait, so these guys are all going to get their laps back. Brad Stover's back, Kyle's only one down, Teddy Salovic lead lap, Jeff Green, Josh Crash only one down, Eddie Cluggy one down, Cooper one down, Seth one down, Jimmy McMurray one down, Ethan one down, Ice one down, Big Daddy one down, Dalton Hussey one down. So they all got their laps back. So, guess what? We've got more cars on the lead lap now. We are now at the 11. Let's go. A lot of cars are starting to DNF. We were going this time. Oh wow! I didn't even realize how many cars are DNF. So we're halfway through the race. Green flag back in here. The 87 did not go. It stacks up everybody. Now look at Dolphin Salovic going for third. Look at how many cars up here have damage. It's insane. Troy Holman up to third. Look at this four wide. This, uh, geez, Dustin Davis around. Oh, Jeff Green getting some damage. I, why are these guys pinning on stop? That's probably why they're two laps down. That was... Probably the uh, second easiest wreck we've seen all day. It's bad J Boy's spin was a little better, like in terms of damage. But yeah, we are uh, still 11 on the lead lap. Dustin Davis is probably going to be the points leader after this race. I don't know. I think Trip McGinnis was up there as well, and he's leading, dominating this thing. So we'll see. But 20 laps to go. How any more cautions, and will we end up under caution, I would say, likely. Green flag back in the air. This time, the 87 gets a better start. Staying right with the 08. Troy looking to the outside of Dolphin Salovec and Angelica. Going to go for the lead in the 87. Contact off of turn two for the lead. Now the 87 trying to get the lead from Troy McGinnis. They make contact. They're crowding up. And they're going to go around for the lead. Troy's going to get it at the line. Troy just avoided the wreck to get the lead. Oh. <laughs> what if that's the race winning move? Oh, jeez. Matt is dead. Um, yeah, rip Matt. He hits the 87. Then Sped J-Boy just uh, nowhere to go. And uh, he rolled like four times. So, uh, looks like Matt's bad luck in this series continues. Unfortunately for him. 
But Troy Holman with a big time move to avoid that wreck. Angelica Martinez is out after going for the lead. So now only 10 lead lap cars. Matt Matt's out, Ice is out, Jeter Dog's out. Along with all of these guys. I think a Rich Flowers is in the middle of all the DNFs. Alright, 15 to go. Troy is now the leader. Can he hang on? Green flag back in the air. Trip McGinnis right there wants to lead back. He's led most of this race. Not able to get a run though. The 36 going to give him a much out. Kyle saves it. What a save by Kyle. There's a spin behind him. Race back to the line. Troy's in the wall, but so is everybody else. So he's going to get it. There was a spin behind him. Brought out this yellow. Uh, was it Teddy Salver or did she just get sold up? Let's see. Nope, it was the ninth. And Josh Crash was also. They're five wide. That's their first mistake. So the 18 crowded the 91 up into the nine. The five got some air there. Is Cooper going to escape by all this? Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That hole just opened up for Cooper to get through that wreck. That's wild. Teddy Salavec, the lead lap car with damage, but I think she'll be fine to continue. But, knowing this game. Uh, you're probably wrong when you make a prediction. Alright, 10 to go, green flag back in the air. Troy Ullman, trying to win his first race, I do believe. Yes, he's never won in the series before. Trying to get his first win today. He's probably two caution flags away from it. Here is a battle between two lap cars. And they're going to wreck. Dolphin Salvec look out. Spongy Boy is getting rammed. And now he's got big damage. That's unfortunate for the 42. He's been one of the best cars all day. There are so many cars with damage. So I don't believe that's what initially brought out the caution though. Let's, let's see. I don't feel like it's getting through. I'll just watch the pace car. There we go. Oh, the 48 of Jaden Scott. It's gonna get turned here. Crowds Kyle up, then Seth has nowhere to go but the turn. So. That's how it's been all day. Sped J Boy, heavy damage. I don't think he's gonna be able to continue. That's a shame for him, too. He's ran really well today. Yeah, there he is. He's out of this race. So that means that a lapped car will get a top 10. And also, one more caution ends this race. So they've got to go for it now. If they want to win this race, they've got to go for it. None of these guys up front have won a race. Fifth place, Dustin Davis has. That's it. And Teddy Salovic as well. Or, my bad, seventh place, Dustin Davis. But, last restart. Green flag back in the air. Good restart for both the 36 and the 08. The next car they got to worry about is that two right there. And the 08 get back inside of Troy Holman. Here he goes. He's trying. Out of turn two. Trip McGinnis wants to lead back from Troy Holman as he goes to three. There's going to be contact. They're wrecking for a lead. Did the 88 just win? The 08 scored the leader. Chef Green almost just stole this race. But it looks like it's going to be Trip McGinnis, but he might have to pit for damage. We'll see. Does he have damage? Will it rub a tire? Or is Trip McGinnis going to win this race after wrecking Troy Ullman for it? Oh, man. It looks like, coming to the white, Trip McGinnis is able to do it. And he has won here at Iowa. Look at Jeff Green, though. What an effort. He was a lap down for at least half of this race, got it back, and nearly stole that race for CKC Racing. Oh, my gosh. That would have been such a big win for him. And the top four, all rookies. Dustin Davis, who won the last two, ends up fifth. Troy Holman 
is going to be mad about that ending. He gets sixth. Teddy Salovic, seventh. That's all for the lead lap cars. Brad Stover, eighth. Joey McGrath, ninth. Nick Ocean, tenth. Kyle McGrath has had so much bad luck this season, it's only fitting that he finally gets a good finish in 11th. Um, Rich Flower, five laps down. Josh Crash and Eddie Kalegi, four down. What losers. <laughs> Just kidding. The 18's won a race this season, at least. Still is Rich Flower. Josh Crash is a real loser of that bunch. I need to save this race. Race 11 is in the books. Trip McGinnis is a first time winner for, hold on, I believe, yeah, Fiorillo Racing. Trip McGinnis gets his first win. He is, well, is he going to be the points, points leader? Because it's going to be close with him and Dustin Davis since they both finished up there. But Tope McGee is going to lose a lot of points. Where did he end up? Uh, 32nd. That's not good for his championship. But, uh, looks like that is it. Let's, uh, just make sure it's saved. You gotta always do that. Be prepared. Yes, it is saved. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Congratulations to Trip McGinnis and Fiora Racing. Racing. Uh, see you guys later. Next race for both series is at Coca-Cola, so that should be fun. Uh, I'll see you then.